Okay guys, today we're going to look at how to make a Cobra Braid paracord bracelet and it's going to look something like this. Now I'm going to use the same colours to make another one, just to keep it simple. Now this one, you're going to have the brown on the inside of the bracelet and the orange on the outside. Now with these buckles here, you can reverse it, but you see they kind of hook round, so it makes it a little bit more uncomfortable and not as nice a fit. Now if I open this one up, I've kept the ends on here just so I can size this up for a friend later on. So let's get started. Now here I've got about 200 centimeters. It's about six foot, seven inches or so of both colors. Now the easiest way to measure yourself up is to sort of wrap it around your wrist and go from there. Now I found that quite tricky um, because a lot of the time I ended up with sort of bracelets that didn't fit or I couldn't finish. Now what I've got here is about an eight and a half inch roughly bracelet. Now use a tape measure and try and use that as a measurement guide. Now I always find it easy after you've made your first one to keep another one that fits exactly the way you want it. So you can always measure it up. So I'm gonna get my buckle to about that size. And there, and now always keep extra cordage out because if you run short, you're not gonna be able to fit. And also you may well have to throw the cordage away if you cut it. So I've got a little bit longer than my original bracelet. Now what I want to do is I want to have two cords of equal length like that and that's going to be the loop of your bracelet. So my bracelet's going to be something like that. It looks quite big but we're going to wrap this cordage a bit tighter later. Okay, always good to have more space. Again, always keep extra to work with. So now I've got my two here and I've got my two longer strands. Now I want my brown on the inside of the bracelet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my brown, go round underneath the two individual strands here. So I'll keep those nice and free. Brown underneath and over the orange. And then I'm going to take my orange cord. Again, bracelets are a little bit more difficult to work with because you've got more cordage. And put it through that loop, just like that. Now, in the very beginning, it's a little bit difficult to see. Um, as we progress further, this technique will become a little bit clearer. And again, we'll do it one more time, just to be sure. Okay, here we go. Take our brown under everything, and the two shorter cords, over the orange, just like that, over the orange, and take our long orange cord and put it over the top and through the hole of the brown. Sometimes this is going to happen, see what's happened here. What you have to do is just tuck that back under, like so, keeping those two original cords underneath. Okay, you're going to end up with something that looks like this. Just slowly tighten it up. Try and keep your thumb on the top of the buckle, and that stops that from slipping, so the size of your two shorter cords doesn't change. So here we go, we've got something that looks like that. Okay, now that is roughly going to be the size of my bracelet. And again, we're going to do that one more time. So take brown, this time from the other side, go under everything, keeping those on top, so the brown underneath, over the orange, and take our orange cord, and put it through that hole just like that. Pull it tight. There we go. And just make that nice and tight here. Now the very first part is the hardest part. Notice here it looks a little bit all over the shop. What you want to do is pull that tight, keeping that nice and firm. Now if we turn it over, we've got the very, very beginnings of our paracord bracelet. So now I'm going to do a few more just to show you and then we'll cut to the next stage of the bracelet. So again, brown underneath, orange over the top, just like that. Pull it tight. Okay, one more time. Brown underneath. Orange over the top of everything through the hole. And that's the very beginnings of our bracelet. Okay, there we go. So again, a bit close. The orange is quite bright on camera. And the brown like so, just like that. 
Okay, one last time. Brown underneath over that orange. And through the hole there. Okay. Alright. Now we're going to look at when we've got a little bit further down. Okay guys, now as you can see, our bracelet's got a lot further down and we haven't got too much cordage left to work with. Now what you want to do at this stage is you want to re-measure, just check your wrist size. You can do that by just wrapping it round, just like so, that's sort of gauging how much left you need. Now if you have it really, really tight, what you're going to find is that your bracelet gets a bit fatter as you braid it and you're going to find it's too tight. So leave a little bit of space. Okay, because as you can see here, this fat braid here, it's a lot thicker than these cords. So just be aware of that. Now I've got my buckle and I've just fed it through these bits here. Good thing to remember with these buckles is that they work as a pair and you want them both being the same. So you don't want that the other way around, it's going to be a bit funky. Now what I've done is I've measured up against my original and I know roughly where about I want that. So that's there now, that's exactly the same thereabouts. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my remaining brown cord and what I'm going to do is tuck it underneath one of these braids. Now you can put it round the other way and tuck it in on the front. It often pokes out a little bit. It doesn't look too nice. So what we're going to do is take one of our already tight braid knots here and just lift it up a little bit and just tuck that inside. Now you can do this with both of the cords at the same time. I think it's a little bit trickier. Um, it can take a little bit, little bit more messing around. So I just do it one at a time and trim the other cord slightly smaller. So we've got that there. Now, next thing we're gonna do is just do another braid. Just over like that, same as before. Just brown underneath all the way over the orange and orange over the top of the brown. Pull that nice and tight. Now what we've got now is a finished bracelet almost. So you can see the brown is all stable on that and it's tucked away nicely underneath. So that's not going to go anywhere. And if I just actually put this bracelet on, obviously it's not finished. There we go. As you can see, we've got something that looks like that. Now it is a little bit loose. And the reason for that is if you have it too tight, this braid is a lot fatter than the individual strands. So you want to leave a little bit of space. Now, same with the orange. You just line it all up. That orange will go underneath the next two braids. So let's just do that now so you can see. Again, brown underneath, orange over the top, just like that. Um, I actually really like these colours because they match a lot of my other gear and survival orange is nice to have when you're hiking. It's nice and bright and if you don't want to be seen when you've got your tent and things like that you've always got the dark brown. Okay and again here we go. So we're just going to go brown underneath, orange over the top and I know my thumb's in the way that's just holding down that orange cord and you can pass that on top there. Sometimes it's easier to do the braid and feed the orange underneath. I think I've got that nicely done. There we go. Pull that nice and tight. When you're going to put that underneath, you might want to pull that a bit tighter than normal just because it's going to bulge slightly and you want a nice even bracelet. Again, we'll just do that again. Brown underneath. Orange, whoop. Orange over the top. Little hint here, you can use your fingers, trap it in there and it makes the cordage a little bit easier to work with. Alright, so I'm just going to finish off down the rest of the bracelet and we're going to talk about how we finish it off. Alright guys, so as you can see we're almost finished with the bracelet. I've just left a little bit extra here just so I can mention one other thing. Now this is the single Cobra braid, but if you want to make a double, which allows you to add another colour or two and makes the bracelet a little bit fatter, for example like this one, um, I've just made this one with black um, just because a friend wanted these colours. The very easy way to do this is simply to take your new two layers, 
So again, the bracelet basically becomes the first two. The bracelet becomes these. And what you do is you do the same thing as we're making the bracelet. You just weave in your two new colors. Do it about an inch or so from the end so it gives them a bit of security. And then from there, you just simply go back down and treat that like the first two in the layers of your cord. You just go underneath, like so, over the top, and wrap that round, just like that. All right, now I'll do a video on this. Um, just wanted to quickly mention it, because if you do know how to do this, break this simple cord, then you know it's worth giving the more advanced one a try. All right, so to finish off, I'm just gonna do this quickly because I don't want to spend too much time talking about the same stuff. Um, the only other useful information I can give you about paracord is that if you're going to buy paracord for you know outdoor use, I'd recommend Rothko. Rothko is an American brand which is very good. And also it's actually 550. It's proven to be 550. They test it and they use it worldwide because it's a decent brand and it works well. Um, some of the other brands you're going to get and some of the other suppliers like for example from China they say 550 but they're definitely not um, I know to my cost that they are not 550 and also Rothko does keep the same now this is Rothko here this one is quite fat and it keeps to this millimeter they don't sort of switch between gauges and stuff this one isn't it's a lot thinner if we line the two up you can kind of see, you can see the difference that this one's a lot thinner here. This one's definitely not going to do 550, but for this bracelet, it's just for some, you know, a bit of aesthetic pleasing. Okay, now I've got to the end of my bracelet. I don't want to go too far down. I don't want to go any one more because I want this to be able to bend freely. Now, what you want to do is just snip off the ends here. Now, I would cut those like that, but what we can do is just quickly go through the King Cobra braid. So here you are, if you go underneath, same as before, over with the brown, like that, and just pull it all the way up again, and what you'll end up with is a second layer on top, like that. Now that's going to double wrap all the way down, just like that. Um, a clearer picture of that is on this one here. Again, if you're interested in making it. Um, if you're not, that's fine. A lot of my friends aren't particularly fans of those. But anyway, back to the point. What you want to do is trim this, not to the very edge. Leave a little bit, not too much. You know, half a centimetre or so. And take your lighter. Now again, like in my previous video, you want to make sure your scissors are handy because you're going to want that metal edge. And what you do is you just burn it off like that. Now, again, talking about Rothko, with the Rothko stuff, it's going to burn evenly, and it's not just going to sort of shrivel up nice and quick. Now, I want to rock that like that. And again, sometimes you want to do it again. I want to make sure that this is well and truly melted into the other fibers, so it's not going to come off um, on the trail or wherever I am. And just like that, there you go. And you can see it's kept its color because it is high quality. Now this orange one here is the slightly cheaper stuff. So we'll see how this one fares. And again, the same, you don't want to cut too much and you don't want to leave too much because otherwise that is going to ball up when you burn it. Okay, and once again, just like that. Um, it's very difficult to see on the camera, but the cheaper stuff here, it's burning a lot faster and shriveling up a lot more. Now, oh, there you go even burning on its own there and just a rocking motion again the cheaper stuff it does start to discolor a little bit as you can see um, whereas the Rothko has roughly kept the same color again hard to see on camera all right and we've got our finished product just like that now I've put this the opposite way just because I like to stretch out the bracelet a bit and again, with these cords, it is reversible, that's no problem. But these tend to fit much nicer around the wrist, the way they're designed. So I'll pop this one on now, just so you can see.
And again, that for me is a pretty good fit. There we are. Alright, thanks for watching. And later on we'll talk about some other braids.